Mr. Attorney General, it is an honor to have you here. Your personal story, I find one of the most inspirational, incredible American stories. You had a house full of brothers and sisters in a two-bedroom house in a town that probably was appropriately named Humble, Texas. That's right. Tell me about your growing up, because I, I think it's just extraordinary story. It's the American story, and I suspect there are people in this audience who share the same story. Uh, growing up poor, but by the example of our parents, my parents, like your parents, yep. work hard, be accountable, show up, get a good education, and someone named George W. Bush comes along, and because you're prepared, you're given a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, although in my case, several lifetime opportunities, and uh, so it really is just a remarkable, remarkable story. Uh, you mentioned that your parents didn't have a lot of education. I certainly share that kind of background. A lot of people, as you said, do. But they encouraged you to do better than them. Are we doing that with our kids? Are we asking more of them? Are we almost asking less of them today? Well, I can't speak to other households, of course. I worry about that. I think we see different attitudes, um, preparation in our students coming into law school. And when I talk to employers uh, uh, here in Nashville uh, about hiring young lawyers, they tell me the same thing. They're worried about the work ethic. And so I think we need to perhaps do a better job. A lot of the names that are household names today, front page of the newspaper, are people that you worked with at various levels of the Justice Department when you were Attorney General. People like Brett Kavanaugh, nominated by the President for the Supreme Court. You worked with him during the Bush White House years. Uh, Tell us about Kavanaugh. Is he a good pick? Is that somebody that you would give a rah-rah to? Well, Neil Gorsuch worked for me when I was at Justice. Brett Kavanaugh worked for me when I was White House counsel. Brett was probably, he's probably one of the finest young lawyers I've ever worked with, and I've worked with a lot of great young lawyers. Uh, Brett is extremely smart, and yet he's not arrogant. People enjoyed working with Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, he's very disciplined. He understands precisely the appropriate role of a judge in our system of government. So I, I think it's a tremendous pick, and I'm delighted that uh, President Trump has nominated Brett Kavanaugh. And of course, I'm very happy about the nomination and confirmation of my friend Neil Gorsuch. A couple of things I want to mention. One, uh, the Attorney General has written a book that I think is absolutely fantastic. It's called True Faith and Allegiance. And some of the things that we very just quickly touched the surface of in his personal story it is an extraordinary story that will have you in tears, but it will also remind you of what's so wonderful about this country. It's available at major booksellers all over the country. You can get a personally inscribed copy by going to albertogonzalez.com. Now, before we let you go, there's something that we know. This weekend is kind of special because you're celebrating a birthday. We will not tell the audience how many that you've had. <laughs> But we're not going to let you. I come. think it's apparent in my face. <laughs> we're not going to let you come to the Huckabee Show, and not uh, wish you a happy birthday. So, Mr. Attorney General, please accept our happy birthday. Okay. Oh, there you go. Well, we'll never see those balloons again until they hit the lights and they pop in the middle of the next segment. Okay. Uh, so you, when you open that up, see what happens. The, the, the card reads on the outside, today is a celebration of you, moi, me, myself. You open it up. <laughs> and who deserves it more? Happy birthday. And a nice inscription from Governor Huckabee. Thank you, Governor. Mr. Attorney General, great to have you here. Thank you so very much very much. Should I take my cake? You should take the okay, cake. Okay, thank you very much. You can take the cake and eat it too.